Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy and today's tutorial is an easy one. We're making a pen clip holder. It attaches to the side of your notebook or your diary and it's a great idea if you don't have any printed elastic. These little binder clips come in gold or black. You can, I've even seen them in blue and pink. So you just need to have some elastic and glue it around the edges of the binder clip like this. To make these, you need a small binder clip, three quarter inch wide elastic. You need some sort of color if you haven't got any printed elastic. I'm using stickles and Goldfinger. E6000 glue and toothpicks. You need to have the right width elastic as your binder clip. So it's got to fit either just inside the binder clip. It doesn't matter, you can still use it if your elastic's narrower than your clip and you can just decorate it like this. So to get the length of your elastic, you put it on one side of your clip, wrap it around your pen and to the other side of your clip and then cut that piece off. Once you've got that elastic cut, get your glue. I suggest the industrial strength E6000. It's clear and it's the best glue to use because it won't give way after repeated use. I just put a little bit straight on some non-stick paper. I'm using baking paper here and some toothpicks. I do this rather than put it straight onto the clip because you, if you put too much, when you put the elastic on, it squashes it all out and you get a bit of a mess going on. So put it on one side and just spread it around a little bit. If you've got too much on, you can just wipe it off with that toothpick. Place your elastic over the top and push it down to the bottom of the clip. Flip it over and put some glue on the other side. And because you've pre-measured your elastic, you don't have to worry about it again. You can just now pull that elastic over and glue that down as well. and just push that down to the end of the clip there and that's completed unless you want to colour it. I've just made a plain one here just so it's easy for you to see. Any glue that does squish out just clean it up with the toothpicks. Toothpicks are good because you can just throw them out. I wouldn't use a paintbrush here because you'd be throwing them out. This glue dries rock hard. Now I've got a tip for you. Get an extra large binder clip and place it over the top of your elastic on the smaller clip. Leave that there to dry and it'll hold it nice and flat and it'll be really extra strong. Now the colour, I've used Goldfinger. See why it's called Goldfinger? Now I just use a skewer and poke that down into the tube and I just wipe it on to the elastic, directly onto the elastic. Now be careful where you get this, make sure that you use a piece of paper or something underneath it because it stays on everything that it sort of sticks to. So it's a hit and miss, you don't have to, I'm not painting it, I'm just coating it where I want it to where I think it's going to look good. Now the colour is antique gold. It's a beautiful gold. Now this one is a metallic. It's soft and flexible. It's a totally different product. And this time I'm going to try it in little dots. And because it's stretchable, I think it's perfect for this elastic piece. And when it dries, it does not crack. 
either does the gold finger. So I just put little dots, you can make them flat or you can raise them up and make them 3D. And I let that dry completely before I glued it to my binder clip. This one here is the same, it's the metallic again and this time I'm just smooshing it out all over the piece of elastic just to get that two-tone look again and just to give it a little bit more interest I've put a row of dots down the center when that once that's dry it looks great too so I've got an, an antique gold and a metallic gold and I get two entirely different looks from both of these golds they're soft to the touch they don't crack and they're quite flexible it's easy to put your your pen in or your pencil and this one here I've used the gold stickles silver stickles so if you don't have access to any printed elastic this method works really well I'm Donna from Artcraft Crazy thanks for watching and bye for now Leave it all behind The river's gonna cry when you're gone